Hi everyone, this is Vicki and I'm going to do a tutorial today on making these flower shakers. Um, I know I've done one before using a die and this time I wanted to make a, give you a tutorial on one that does not require a die or die cutting. And um, so I made several different types and but today I'm going to um, do this one here that is a cupcake paper uh, liner and I'm going to make that one there so uh, there's another one here that I used uh, doing petals that I cut and there's another one here that I used um, making this flower uh, without a die also. So I'm going to do those later and then there are those with the petals and with the fabric and with the laces. So there's different ones but today I'm just going to do this one here that is the um, cupcake liner. So I'm going to set this camera down and show you how to do that. So what I'm going to show you, what you'll need is um, some kind of uh, plastic. Um, you can use the paper uh, covers, you know, the, the their sheets of paper covers. You can use that. You can use the baseball, um, baseball uh, ones also with the, that you put slipping baseball cards in. You can use, um, th this is just thin, not real thin, but fairly thin. And um, they work fine for this type of um, shakers. I'm going to have a 4x4 four four, um, sheet, cut sheet, and a 2x2 two two cut sheet. Okay, so I'm going to use two of these. And then one of these. What's one? One of these. Okay, that's 2x2. Two two. So, first of all, you get this and put it down. And you're going to get your cupcake liner. And you can put a slit here. And I just make a slit so that I can use my scissor. So I'm just going to cut all the way around the cupcake liner all the, to make it a hole here, opening. And it's going to look like this. Okay, and then I'm going to take my Fabri-Tac glue, and you can use any kind of glue you like, but I'm going to use um, Fabri-Tac. Um, you can use uh, the white Elmer's glue if that's what you have. Use what you have, and it um, should come out fine. Okay, let's see if you can see that. Let me get a piece of paper that may be able to see better okay so you're going to um, first of all make a circle that is uh, the size of the two by two because for the and then go out a bit around okay so you want to make it the hole in the circle so that your um, shaker will show shaker bits. So you're going to just set, set it down on one side and then the other. And just press it down. Uh, not real firmly, but, you know, just so that the paper will align onto it. Then you can pick it up and then you can move it about. You can move it around if it didn't get quite too much on there. If there's glue stuck on there, just let it dry and then you can peel it off later. Don't smudge it or it'll just stay smudged. Okay, so then you're going to do that. So I think that looks pretty good. We're going to cover the little raw edges anyway, so we don't have to worry about that. And you're going to cut off the little, if you can see this um, edge here from the corner. You can make it a, um, a circle, but then it's just seems like it's another step so I think if you just cut these edges off it works just as well and easier to make a you know um, a square than a circle so that way you you cut the edges off you're cutting the edges off and 
and making your own kind of circle there. Okay, and so you can do that. You're going to um, turn it upside down. And then you're going to put it down on your craft sheet, your uh, workspace, table space. And um, just rub it down a little bit to get, get it, you know, so it, it sticks a little bit more. Then you're going to get your um, pieces of, uh, of uh, sequins and different things and put it in the center. So it's going to show on that side. And I've already kind of picked out some to save some time because um, it takes time to film this. I only get 15 minutes, so I don't want to waste it finding bits of these things. So I'm going to fill it up in the center so it looks like that. And then I'm going to put glue around here, around the edges. And not too close because the sequins will get stuck. And then... Um, I'm going to go further out around to catch the rest of this plastic. Okay, so I think that looks good. And then I'm going to get my other um, small little 2x2. Two two. It's really hard to see this, but you can see it there. And I'm going to just put that right on top. Okay, ideally, it's best if you can let this dry, kind of press it down a little bit. And, um, and I, I create a shadow there because I've got a light from, from um, to my from my right side. But um, ideally, you're going to want to just let this dry. But because there's not uh, the time, <laughs> I'm going to let it set there. And, um, and then I'm going to put another layer of glue around. And like I said, you can use uh, Elmer's white glue or any other kind of glue that's going to stick this plastic. I'm not sure if it sticks, you know, the plastic will stick. But um, I use this type of glue. Um, okay, so then I'm going to take my other one. And then I'm going to press it down. And try to line it up to the edge of the other one. So then see, I'm going to have to push it up a bit. And it comes out pretty good. Okay, so I like that. Can you see how this... This looks not too bad. Um, sometimes I just I do a double, so I I'll do another one of these on top and do a double. Um, I passed up that that step, but. Um, I think it works better, but then I'm going to have to do this all over again. <laughs> so I think that works okay with that smaller one. Press it down, and there you have your um, pretty much your flower, but I cut these edges here to make it look even more like a flower because I already have these things sticking uh, you know the pattern like that so I decided to just take advantage of that and make it look like a flower so then I've already cut that out um, all the way in the edges here's one that I have done okay so now you're it's all dry and you have this all taken care of. Now what you're going to do is um, look for the bottom for an opening and I have this opening here and I'm going to push this uh, stick in. Now you can use either these kind of sticks, I got these at Daiso, um, or you can use straws and um, this 
and see I don't have that color straw but let me just use this blue it's a little off color but for um, purposes of this video I'm going to I'm going to cut the edges so that it lays a little flatter when I stick it in here and sometimes I'll stick it on the outside this time I'm going to there's one here that I stuck it on the outside. Now I have to dress this up and put something on here, like say this little bow or something, okay? So you can do it like that, or you can just put it in, sandwich it in, of which, um, you know, you find your hole and put it in, and now you're going to put your glue in on either side. And then you're going to get your little clothespins or whatever you have to close this edge up so it stays together. Even if you don't have it, just use your fingers and hold it together until it um, adheres. So, and then you're going to leave that aside. And then you're going to dress it up and put in either leaves around it. Wrap these kind of leaves. Um, Hobby Lobby has leaves like this. Or you can put a bow around the edge to, to um, finish it off. You can put some glue on here to hold it so it doesn't um, come off, come open, and do that. But let me show you other cupcakes I've made. Um, oh, also when you finish that, I like to finish off this edge like this. So I put a layer of uh, glue. And then I put it into my little tiny white sequins or other sequins and I just press it on. Press it on like this. Do the little tiny bit of glue on the other side and press it on here. And then you get this really pretty finished edge of the um, of your flower. Alright, and let me, like I said, show you some of the other ones. This one, I, the, I just used the, the cupcake liners that I already have. I had this and I collect these things if I think they're really cute and then you know it just so happens I find it that this comes out really cute as a flower so there's a bicycle and I need to finish it off here and then there's this one which I've used the I bought a package of this uh, wire in the floral area of the uh, Michaels and then I, I put that together and then um, and put it on here. Now I can still put something here to cover that up. And then I also can put ribbon or leaves on it. And uh, this one I cut the edges to follow the flower line. And then this one is a, this one is a little bit. Isn't this so cute? I don't even know. I'm, I'm sure I got it at Michael's, but I don't remember when. It's been a long time. But anytime you see something that catches your eye and it's really cute, that's on sale or something, go ahead and put it in your stash. And you can always, you will always find a way to use these things. Or you'll have a craft room that's full of stuff. <laughs> but uh, I think that came out really cute as well, even though they're buildings and bicycles. It's still you know cute and then um, so that's what that's these are the ones that I made that out of the cupcake ones and um, hope you enjoyed this tutorial I will be back to make uh, another tutorial on some other ones like the um, this one not using a die um, both of these I also have this one not using a die and these petal ones that you don't use the die um, so anyway um, thanks for watching and I will talk to you in the next video thanks bye